I can't tell if this is good lighting or not. But anyways, hi everyone. So right now I'm waiting for the buyers. I'm at a showing. And what's so funny is this is like right by my high school in Richmond. Um, and yeah, I thought like I wanted to bring you guys along to kind of like days in my life, what I've been up to, all of that stuff. So this is kind of a Friday afternoon. Appointments for one, it's like 12.55 right now. So hopefully they will be on their way, but yeah. This is where we're at right now. Oh my gosh, I have not vlogged in my car in like a year. So this tripod has not been touched since like that last year. But anyways, I just finished the showing and I got like a little quick video that I'll include here. So this town home in Richmond sold and it was only on the market for like 20 days, which we love. Now I'm driving downtown to get my nails done because they literally look so naked. I'm like self-conscious about it. But anyways... After that, I have another showing um, for a downtown listing, and then I am meeting with friends later for a little birthday, and we love, love an Aries birthday. Usually, I would say, like, my busiest work days where I'm, like, actually um, doing, like, open houses and showings and tours and stuff would be Saturday, Sunday, so everyone that has, like, their weekend off, for me, it's, like, the opposite, where, like, on, like, a Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll kind of have more, like, downtime more time to just kind of hang out and catch up on things where the weekend is like work 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 back to back to back stuff because I'll like work out in the morning at house and then right now I'm like really downtown so it's just funny I literally just go back home to Richmond to sleep see my cats and my mom then go back out and like it's just a lot but I kind of love it like I love driving and I've been listening to so many podcasts or like I'll call friends or my mom when I'm in the car so I never feel like driving is like a chore or anything like I'm very grateful to be able to drive and for all these opportunities and my career and everything that I have going on in my life so yeah that's just kind of a little a little spiel um but yeah see you guys later so nail lasting salon and spa just opened up this February and they're right across one bride place on Hornby Street they have so many colors and dip powders to pick from I definitely recommend them if you're in Vancouver this is not sponsored I just think they have really good quality and really good service here I love this color yeah me too so a little bit later Lexi and I both headed over to the Hotel Belmont downtown uh, to meet with some of the girls for Cece's birthday and this was such a fun night. I don't even have too much footage from it because I wasn't even on my phone but that's kind of the gist. We went down to the basement afterwards um, and then the next morning here, I don't know how, I managed to go to a 7 a.m. workout class and this is booty camp so it's like a glute lifting kind of glute focused uh, like leg day. <laughs> So the unit at Station Square in Metro Town sold, and here I am just dropping off keys to give to the developer for the new tenants. Okay, so for lunch, we're at number one beef noodle house, and it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, this is close to BCIT. We've had their beef noodle soups here so many times, and like, they're 10 out of 10, so we both wanted to try something different. She got hot pot, and then I got this, like, omu rice, Japanese egg rice thing. Another day, another showing. So I'm back at the same place that's, like, right across my high school. Um, I just got here, and... Today is Wednesday, so after this, I'm gonna probably go to the bank, pay my taxes, not fun, and then I have volunteering at church at like five-ish, so yeah, that's kind of my day, and then now I know from last time to wear flats and like easier slip on and off shoes, because we're kind of getting into spring, and like if you're a realtor, you know that, I don't know what it is, but taking off your shoes and like putting them back on like by the door with people is just such an embarrassing like awkward moment that I'm gonna try to avoid from now on so I just finished doing my taxes 
Oh my gosh, doing your taxes is so stressful. I literally had like every single invoice from last year, like all my gas receipts, everything on like my credit card statement. Holy, that was, that was a lot. Alrighty, so it's a few days later now, I believe Friday morning, and I'm just at guest house at my gym, which is like the yoga studio room, and this is the Sculpt and Sweat class top a page, so there she is, she's actually a really good friend of mine, and I just absolutely love her classes, this is not sponsored, I just feel like she really teaches you like proper form and like how to actually work out like for your body, and Pilates is not easy, I know it just looks like micro movements, but like I'm always most sore after her classes. You can see in the next clip, my arm is like shaking uncontrollably, but it's such an amazing workout. I definitely recommend trying one of her classes if you're from Vancouver. Okay, at this point, I don't remember a weekend where I wasn't holding an open house at Lumberard Place. So here I am back on a Saturday and I actually have the full unit tour um, up on my YouTube channel. So I will link that right here if you guys wanna check that out. It is a two bed, two bath, 916 square footage corner unit and you have like beautiful views on the 27th floor of downtown Vancouver. Quite the rainy Easter weekend. I don't think that we're gonna have a lot of people walk by and kind of check everything out, but there's actually a few agents downstairs with their listings, so maybe if they get some people, they'll get some people. Yeah. Yeah, but that's all you need. You don't need these very big cooktops. So after the open house, my mom and I headed to dinner. We went to the Boulevard, which is a restaurant inside the Sutton Place Hotel downtown. It's actually on Burrard Street and just off Robson, but this is for her birthday, so it was so cozy and the vibes here were just immaculate. I 10 out of 10 recommend the service. Everything was amazing, exceeded my expectations. For our appetizers, we got the baked oysters, which were probably my favorite, and then the beef Wagyu Carpaccio. And then for our main, we did this whole sea bream, which is like this big fish that they kind of prep and cut um, in front of you. And it's like this whole show, but it was so interesting to watch. And then he'll flip it over, like a moment of silence for this beautiful fish. I didn't manage to get a video of the seared scallops, but I'll just include a photo of them here. They're on like this bed of Thai pesto sauce and that was so delicious. And then for dessert, the waitress was so sweet. She brought out like this little surprise for my mom. Look at her, she's like so adorable, like so surprised. Um, and then we finished off with some chocolates. I made a reservation for like three weeks in advance. So if you're gonna check it out, I definitely recommend making a reservation. So here are a few little snippets from my brokerage Sutton's annual kind of gala ceremony and this is really fun. I didn't get too much footage just because my team and I had to go up a few times um, for like awards and stuff but it was really cool seeing like all the other agents from the other teams that are all within Sutton. So the next morning I headed on over to house and they set up these cute little treats for their house ID clothing line launch. Summer Rays, Emrys Beauty, and you know her team was there too so it was really fun to kind of see everyone come together for this event. This is the only footage I have in class working out just because it was so busy you can see like how packed the class was but afterwards they had like these really yummy smoothies and then this claw machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, woo! We're at Starbucks now, taking a little, little chill moment. We're going to the Dizelle. Oh my god! I hope there's no line. There was a line yesterday, so on TikTok, but we're gonna fuel up before we go. Yeah, this is our little break, and then we're gonna hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Reminds me of what? Yeah, we did not end up going to um, the outlet. The lineup was like two hours long, so we just ended up shopping like along Robson. We were already in the area, so I really wanted to stop by Leah Alexandria Jewelry inside the Fairmont. They do these permanent bracelets like on your wrist when you get them there. And then after that, we just got dinner at Cactus Club. There was no wait here, but at the Cool Harbor location it was like two hours, so this is the um, Bentil one just on Burrard Street. Like lighter at the bottom. Okay, bye.